Welcome to part 3 of how to make a fake SM57 sound good. First thing we saw in the prior video is that the fake mic has a lot of noise. And the volume and frequency change a lot when changing the impedance of the preamp. So the logical next step was to change the transformer. Here I'm cutting the wires and keeping a part of it to remember the colors. And next I'm going to open the bottom. You need to turn the screw clockwise to make it go into the connector to liberate it. So now I just need to pull it out. I was surprised that it was hard to do. And I had to put the, a lot of force to it. And then I saw the yellow wire was going to the capsule and it was a really strange find. I decided to use a screwdriver and try to dislocate the transformer because there wasn't a lot of glue inside the microphone. Some of you may need to boil down the microphone to make the transformer go out. I was shocked to see that it wasn't even a transformer. It was only a random look-alike part that they did put in to fool us. That's a proof that you can't expect anything when buying a clone microphone. Time to put the new transformer in. I needed to research the pinout because there wasn't any blue or red wire at the connector. So should you buy a fake microphone? Of course not. You don't know what you're buying. I did those videos for two reasons. The first reason was to inform people of how bad they can turn out and how random the results can be. I also did the videos to help those who've been screwed or bought a fake microphone by mistake. The thing is, my microphone is unique. So you need to pursue the sound you want and analyze how the microphone sounds from the start. You've been hearing both fake and genuine microphone in this video. As expected, adding a transformer to the fake one got rid of the noises. Of course, the real SM57 has a more balanced sound, a bit less high frequencies and rounder low end. But I can see where I can use the fake one on some sources that don't need those bottom frequencies or need less. So for me, it's a win-win. I just got a new microphone to play with. If it's not already done, please subscribe, click on like, and leave comments. Now let's hear some examples with guitars. 